Before this event, Google promised it was going to be their biggest product launch ever. And they showed us all of the things you see down here. But the one I'm most interested in is Google's new assistant, something they're calling Google Home. And we really designed it to fit in your home and really be beautiful anywhere in your home. First, we made it white and we made it have no buttons visible at all. So it's really more like a candle or a vase or something you would have out on a coffee table or an end table in your home. OK, Google, play the Secret Life of Pets 4K trailer on living room TV. So what this is doing is actually incredibly difficult. This is actually using our natural language processing to understand what I say. It's using our machine learning to understand my intent. Then it's looking in our knowledge graph for something that matches that, an actual movie trailer. Then it's going to YouTube and trying to find that actual streaming video. And it's saying, oh, what device do I stream it to? The Chromecast Ultra in the same room as this person. Uh, some people are obviously quite uh, unnerved by having a device like this in the home, and particularly yeah. when it's associated with Google. We know the company knows so much about us more than uh, most other companies out there. Um, this is just another way to get the company knowing more about us to sell more advertising, isn't it? <laughs> well, Google's super committed to privacy. This is a, a really a, a hot issue for me. I really, really care that this respects people's privacy and only allows access to the information that you want it, you give it access to. Um, so the way this is built is um, it is listening for a hot word and it only does speech recognition once it recognizes that hot word. If it doesn't recognize a hot word, anything that is recorded is only stored locally and is then discarded.